everybody we are back with another review today we got a special treat if you've been following my instagram page which if you're not go down into the description and check it out down below a lot of glam shots of funko pops but on saturday i posted a glam shot of a personal grail of mine if you would the acquisition of it and uh yeah today we're going to talk about how i got venomized freddy funko for 35 bucks so without further ado let's hop right into this review so today we're going to talk about Freddy Funko as Venom. So this pop is, well, if you, if you don't know, it's uh, it's limited to 24 pieces, extremely rare uh, pop. We're talking $6,000 is about what it usually will sell for when it hits up on eBay, a real one. Uh, it's valued in the Funko app and like pop price got at like $5,200, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I was uh, in, a, in a side chat on Instagram with my good friend Dustin, who is a Venom collector as well. And we were just kind of chatting about the different pops, the, the sculpts and stuff in the Venom line. And we ended up talking about this pop. And I was like, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would like to have the entire Venom line, but this particular pop is the one I would, even if I was a billionaire, I still wouldn't drop $6,000 on such a simplistic pop. And I say simplistic because literally this was something that could be made for $35. And, and the fact that it could be made for $35, I could never, never get behind uh, spending that much money. If it was something that was like a, a completely like one-off custom, like extremely, um, you know, difficult sculpt, like it actually took time to, to go into it. Something like this is literally just a head swap and a hair paint. And then you got, you got Freddy Funko as Venom. So, um, but we'll get into that in a little bit. In the side chat we were talking about, I was try we were trying to kind of figure out which body it was, and I ended up figuring out it was basically Venom number 363. So it's going to be this one where it's Eddie Brock turning into Venom, and that'll get you the body for uh, the actual sculpt here of Freddy Funko as Venom. And I like making customs. If you follow my Instagram, if I do sometimes, I'll bring them on this channel and review them, but it's not that often. Um, I do like doing customs and I like making customs for my own collection. I think that's the, the main reason why I do customs, if not for gifts for people, I do them at, for my own collection. Cause I like to have certain pops that maybe don't exist or are ones that I don't want to drop the coinage on, but I still want the actual pop. Um, now I'm not running around making pink chrome Batmans, even though that is number one on the wish list. But this is something that um, I thought would be really neat to have in the collection, especially with my Venom pops. And I do like Freddy Funko, and it would be neat to have him uh, as Venom. So what I ended up doing was figuring out what kind of head sculpt I needed to figure out for which Freddy I was going to use, because a lot of the Freddies will have silver crowns. I ended up figuring out that apparently the Surfer Freddy has the um, is actually the lowest price one with the gold crown came in at about 25 bucks. The Venom 363 was 10 bucks uh, on, and these are eBay prices. I don't know if you're buying them elsewhere, they might be a little bit higher, but uh, I ended up getting the 6,000 box of fun Surfer Freddy pop, which had the gold crown on top of his head. Now, sometimes the boxes will have a gold crown on it, but it'll have a silver crown. I don't know. Um, I learned a lot about Freddy Funko shopping around to try to get this pop put together. But you're saying, well, where's the rest of the parts to this this Freddy as Venom? Where's the rest of the pieces to the puzzle here? Well, this pop actually turned into, for 35 bucks, I got two sick pops because not only did I swap these heads, but I also swapped the other one. So it allowed me to create this, which is Surfer Eddie Brock. Now, as you can see here, it is a complete head swap, what I ended up doing. Um, and you're probably like, well, this one's a bobblehead and this one's not a bobblehead. How'd you swap the two heads? Well, when you pop the, when you, when you uncoil the bobbler, when you uncoil the bobbler using this little tab here, uh, you still have a nub, which would slide perfectly on some of these uh, non bobblehead uh, head sculpts. And lucky enough, when I ended up popping off the Freddy Funko one off the surfer body and took this one off the Venom body, it fit perfectly. And I was like, this is meant to be clearly. So, um, that, and it actually still, it turns, I mean, I get full functionality. It's a Freddy Funko, um, as Venom, which is really sick. But anyway, we got uh, surfer Eddie Brock here and I ended up basically just whittling and shaving down the nub there that the, that the coil spring could then attach to. And I did it, I did it on a, um, on an angular, on an angular, uh, 
I guess, degree, if you would, because it allowed it to basically tighten. As I tighten the spring down, it would actually tighten uh, as the base and the neck got wider. So it actually holds really great. And I was able to crank it down, as you know, so I can still get the, the lays in the picture there. You got the green and the purple lay. I did not custom those, but I did customize the board shorts. We made the blue, light blue, Freddy Funko. Here's the original design right there and I uh, painted those black. So pretty sweet on that. He's got black board shorts on. Um, he's got a half venomized face here. He is a bobbler, which is really cool. I took the wave and turned it into symbiote slime and the board shorts and the symbiote slime painting these were actually a suggestion by Sin. So if you wanna go check out Sin, uh, I'm gonna leave a pinned comment down below with an in Instagram page for Dustin and for Sin's YouTube page. So go check those two guys out, two awesome people. But when Sin suggested me, he goes, dude, turn the wave into the venomized symbiote slime. I was like, absolutely. I'd rather do the symbiote slime and change the board shorts than to like try to venomize the rest of the pop because I kind of want it to be like surfing Eddie Brock and he's got like, he's got like the venom overtaking his head and then the wave is just like the symbiote slime and leave it at that because the board shorts, the slime, and then the head, I think that's almost enough. And um, this actually turned out superb. I used a, uh, I used a flat, a flat black enamel paint for the wave, which as you can see, turned out great. It really matches the flat black matte of the uh, vinyl. So that's really nice on that. And the board shorts came out awesome. You got the little tie there and you got the belt. Again, I do like doing customs. I like customizing my Funko Pops. Um, the reason why I said this was 35 bucks is because I took the two Pops out of my collection, made this happen, and then just rebought two more. So ipso facto, at the end of the day, it washes itself out. But yeah, this is uh, this is probably gonna be one of my favorite, I mean, Venomous Freddy Funko, but this one is probably my one of my favorite Pops that I've customized uh, this year for sure. I don't know, the Venomized Red Hulk is pretty sick, but surfing eddie brock is wow yeah this is uh this is a, definitely a pop i mean i painted the bottom we did everything on here so uh it looks pretty good i did it all along the, the wave all along the side of the board here i mean i only painted the water wave which is great i didn't get anything on the the surfboard itself which is nice so yeah turned out really good and it was meant to be the way that these two pops kind of just swapped each other um perfectly i mean a little modification to the surfer body to get the venomized bobbler head on there but at the end of the day it was totally worth it because for 35 bucks i got two sick pops to add to my collection i collect venom pops um and yeah this is uh this is definitely something that most people don't have and most people buy fakes and whatnot on the internet but i mean you can pretty much do it yourself and again i use for the hair here since it's not being sprayed on, which how Funko does, I'll show you what, so sprayed on, Funko sprays their, their paints on so that they're perfect. And sometimes that's why you'll see the eyes will be a little bit wonky or something. They're not like seated properly because the spray just didn't line up on the, on the head originally when they sprayed it. So when I went after this, I said, I'm going to use a flat black enamel paint. And by doing that, you will see minor, minor brush strokes in the in the hair, it won't look 100% symmetrical, but at the end of the day, it's a custom for my collection. Uh, I would never sell this. I would, if anything, I'd give it away to somebody. But um, yeah, this is something where I don't mind that stuff, and I'd rather have this in my collection than to sit around daydreaming about a pop that I never would want to buy anyway. So um, yeah, Freddy Funko as Venom, pretty sick. Oh yeah, and this was actually originally, I didn't even explain what, where this pop actually came from. This is a 24 piece from SDCC 2019. So it dropped this past summer, it was a 24 piece. Uh, it was from the Funko Fun Days uh, event. And uh, yeah, this was a 24 piece limited uh, run of these. So there's not many of them out there. And like I said, when they do get um, passed from one owner to another owner, they, they go for a high dollar, very high dollar on eBay. So. Yeah, that's neat to hear and over there. Why don't you let me know down in the comments below, not only what do you think of my little clickbait social experiment here with uh, the Venom Freddy Funko on Instagram, but why don't you also let me know down in the comments below, what do you think of my surfer Eddie Brock? What do you think of the head swaps that I did on this? Is this something that you like to do with your pops in your collection? And what do you think of Freddy Funko as Venom? Did I do a good job? Do you like this pop? Would you want to do something like this to have this particular pop in your collection? Why don't you let me know down in the comments below all that. And yeah, 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, subscribe for more because I do reviews every single day. So be a lot of for that and have a great rest of your day.